Does, that doesn't raise any eyebrows to you. That, that doesn't, to me, it sounds like Building 7 falling. And, and I'm not going to claim this is something I've thought for a long time, but just doing a deep dive and, and researching this whole uh, industry and story and trying to put this story together, I, I guy that helps me research this, was like, hey, man, you need to take a look at Tupac Shakur. And, and Jason, you need to think about uh, the story they sold us about Tupac Shakur and how they made him the face of rap music. And so Tupac was uh, with Digital Underground. What was the song? I Get Around. You know, he was one, he dancer with Digital Underground, did a little rapping with Digital Underground. But, but he wasn't the face of hip hop in the early 1990s. But then in 1994, Tupac's at a studio in New York and he gets shot. He gets shot five times. He gets shot in the groin, he gets shot uh, in the hand, I think he gets shot in the back, and he got shot twice in the head. It, it, it's an amazing story, but, but, but before I get to the shot deal, I want to walk you back to who Tupac was with Digital Underground and before, but I want to walk you back to high school, and, and I want to play you a clip of Tupac, I believe, at 18 years old, interview he's doing. I, I'm, I'm a, when you watch this clip, I'm not really going to call him Tupac. I, I, this is Zesty Shakur. That, that's probably the name he was using at that time is Zesty. Let's play Zesty Secu Shakur. But it's harder to see the bad things, and everybody wants to shield the bad things, and that's where it gets complicated and it gets real rotten. That's when everybody gets surprised and, oh my God, I'm committing suicide. That's too much overwhelming. If it doesn't, if you know about it, it won't be so overwhelming. You know, so that's what I think about that. So how, do you, how do you keep so positive? You say that you had a you had a problem childhood, but yet you, you seem like you've gotten above that. Oh, uh, is is that you know, like if you're lost, if you are lost in the wilderness and you have a guide, then it's not like being lost. It's like learning new things as you go through. So when you finally get through, you forgot where you were going to. You just want to talk about the path that you just went. And that's how I feel. Like like life, my child, I was just totally lost at first because, okay, I got to go to the beginning. My mother was a Black Panther, and she was really involved in the movement, you know, just black people bettering themselves and things like that. My father was a hustler, a street hustler, you know. I think he, you know, sold drugs and everything. And how did they get together is beyond me, but he just saw her as a woman doing something, and like, you know. But, so my mother and father both had bad childhoods. And I never knew who my father was. I met him, but he died, and that was horrible, but got over that. Does, does Zesty Shakur fit the profile of what I've been talking about the past two days? That's him at some private performing arts school, I, I believe, in, in 1988. That's Zesty Shakur. Only Bruce Jenner can judge me. That, that's who that was. How did they turn Zesty Shakur into thug life tatted across his stomach and to the ultimate gangster. Again, he's at a performing arts school learning how to act. He's headed towards the entertainment industry. And, and so how do you transition that guy to that guy? How, how, how do you do that? And one of the ways you do it in rap, man, if he gets shot, if he survives getting shot, now we got a real G on our hands. Now we got somebody we can sell. Now we got a thug. And so I want you to think about 
I want to play this clip of a news report about Tupac Shakur. He's now transformed from Zesty to Tupac Shakur and him getting shot in New York. This is not him getting shot in Vegas and killed. This is him getting shot, I believe, in 1994. I believe it's November 30th, 1994. The same time he's on trial for sodomy of some woman. But let's play the news clip that kind of summarizes uh, Tupac Shakur getting shot in the whole nine. It's December 1st, 1994. The rare, raw footage of Tupac Shakur in a wheelchair the morning after he was shot in Manhattan. Despite five bullet wounds, the iconic rapper is on his way to court to hear the verdict in his sexual assault case. A series of events that would change his life and in turn rap history forever. I wanted to know more, so I searched deep into the Fox 5 archives from our reporting at the time. Tell have no fury like a woman sports. We found this impromptu press conference. Why am I the only one in court right now? Why is the cameras all on me? Not long after his arrest on the charges. I guess I am going to say that I'm a thug. That's because I came from the gutter and I'm still here. I'm not saying I'm a thug because I want to rob you and rape people and things. I'm a businessman. And outside the court as the trial was under way. I want straight up not guilty. And finally, the night he was shot in the lobby of Quad Studios on November 30th, 1994, a hot spot for rap artists at the time. That's Sean Diddy Combs outside as police arrived on scene. He was shot numerous times, at least twice in the head. Shot numerous times, at least twice in the head. And Sean Diddy was on the scene of that, which infuriated uh, Tupac and made him think that Diddy was involved in the shooting, and that's what set off the feud. But but I, I want you to think this through. A man gets shot twice in the head, once in the groin, once in the back, and once in the hand on November 30th. And on December 1st, just a few hours after they complete surgery, He's, he's checked himself out of the hospital. Does, that doesn't raise any eyebrows to you. That, that doesn't, to me, it sounds like Building 7 falling. And, and I, I wish I had thought it in 94, but I was a kid and I was busy. Uh, and, you know, at that time you believed everything you were told. And, it's, and look, the media is just reporting what they're being told. But... Does that make any sense? You got shot twice in the head, once in the groin, in the hand and in the back or abdomen area. I can't remember, but and you're rolling out of the hospital shortly thereafter. You're, you're that type of a G zesty secure in six years went from zesty to, yeah, I took these five bullets two in the head, and I'm out of the hospital 24 hours after I got shot. You got to make that make sense to me. I, I don't buy it. I, I, I don't buy It's my belief. I don't buy it. Tupac is a psyop. He was installed. They took a zesty actor and said, we're going to make you play the role of the ultimate thug. Because we got this prison culture we need to sell. And you're desperate. You didn't know your father. Your mother was in the Black Panthers and she was strung out on drugs. You're desperate. Zesty. You're sexually fluid. And in order to get you this money and this fame that you want, we're, we're going to, you're going to have to go through this sigh up of pretending to be shot in the head and all this other stuff. And... Uh, you're going to have to do this time at Clinton Correctional Facility uh, for, you know, getting convicted of these charges. But when you come out on the other side of that, whoo, Suge Knight's going to come pick you up and we're going to drop bags of cash on you. And you're going to be the face of gangster rap. 
you look, I know people's voices change. But you can't go from all these zesty mannerisms. I didn't really know my dad. That was tough. To the ultimate thug. With, with, with a much deeper voice. It, it, just, it just doesn't happen. That's a role you're playing. And, and all of the, what I'm talking about connects to listen to everything I've been saying over the past three, four months, and really over the entire time. But the last three or four months about Stephen A. Smith and that book he wrote and these lies he's getting away with telling, all of these people, it's a script. It's a narrative. It's a role they're being asked to play, to sell something. They don't give you F you money. They give you F me money to promote nihilism because they don't know what to do with all of these people that are being displaced by technology and all of these people that they think are overpopulating their planet. They want to get rid of you. They want you to go away quietly and take whatever little freedom they're willing to offer you without complaint. Go sit down and shut up until you die. And we want you to adopt a sexual lifestyle that prevents you from reproducing because we want less people. Life has no meaning. Life is really for us handful of elites that have all kinds of money and we're the special people, we're the chosen, the rest of you need to go away quietly and quit coming to us complaining about how much money we make and what all we're doing. We have rules for you. We have freedom for us. Now, go call each other the N-word and shoot and kill each other, and we're done with you. And th that, that exact same plan, I know you racial idolaters think it's just directed at, at people with dark skin. It's directed at all of us. All of us, regardless of color. You're not one of the elites. You don't have a bunker. Finally, <clears throat> and I want y'all to marinate on that. I get to hop in the comments and I know you Tupac groupies that think Tupac is the greatest thing since sliced bread. How dare Whitlock question Tupac Shakur. What a sellout. What a Uncle Tom. Tupac survived them shots. Ain't no way they think that. There ain't no way. He's, Tupac's a, li a legend. He's everything. He's retarded nihilist that sold you poison that helped destroy your community, helped destroy your worldview, helped walk you away from God. That's who Tupac is. An actor playing a role. Did they kill him? Probably. I mean, he's dead. I don't think he, I don't think the thing out in Vegas, I think they were done with him. He had served his purpose. There's more value in him as a martyr and a symbol and dead. It's just like a great painting. When the painter dies, the value goes up. Done with Tupac. Plus he was a tiny bit uncontrollable. Probably didn't, that role was probably eating him up because it ain't really him. Like what you saw? Hit that like button, subscribe, and check out the full episode by clicking the link below.